Okay, so you saw in a previous video a go-to with kind of an E&E &E kit uh, that had some kind of everyday kind of tools as well as some kind of escape and evasion type tools in there that I and I carry that in my ankle first aid kit. Uh, then I showed you another video with kind of a DIY version or kind of makeshift tools that you can get from around the house, put it together uh, for traveling or whatever practice and such. This kit here is another kind of toolkit that um, I carry with me on my backpack. Um, it is a triple lot design sear pouch and inside there is again some tools that can be used for E&E &E, but also just kind of everyday use as well. So let's dig into there. Um, so this tool, this pouch is fantastic in size. It fits in your pocket. Um, the strap here can go through Molly. It can, you could wear it on your belt as a pouch. So lots of functionality. Um, so there's really no excuse not to have the tools with you. You can open it up here. You can see um, it kind of displays the tools in a very neat and organized way. So first and foremost here, I have a window breaker. Uh, this is a bracelet. Kind of looks decorative, decorative, I guess, or uh, whatever. But it can be used to break a window open. Uh, so you can basically just take the carbide bead and pull it back like a rubber band and smash the window open. Um, if you didn't have something like this, certainly a ceramic ball or even an old fuse, the type of screw-in type fuses, works well for the same type of thing. Just that small diameter um, hard tip, hard um, material kind of can get break that windows open. Um, so pen, super awesome. Obviously, I probably don't need to say much other than the fact that this is a Sp Fisher Space Pen. Had a video on that earlier. Uh, flashlight. Again, in an urban situation, many uses for a flashlight from first aid to um, repairing things to reading, whatever it is. So this makes for a great backup flashlight. I tend to like to have backup flashlights better than carrying extra batteries. That's just me. Um, and these work, this works way better than using these little light things, especially if you're trying to open a lock at night. Putting this between your teeth is way easier or carrying another flashlight. Um, but I understand low light signature that these put off and that they're lightweight and easy to carry. So I get it. Um, all right, back here, bigger tools, winds and telemeter. You've seen this before in my posts. I'm going to keep doing more posts about this. Um, I've been meaning to do some more instructions as well. So stay tuned. I will get to it. I just haven't had the time. So, but I'll, I'll get to this. Uh, so I get a lot of questions on what they are, what you can do with them, and I'll go in more depth on that. The hook it tool, fantastic escape tool. Get uh, from, especially from a getting out. Uh, from a outward swinging door, fantastic little tool. You can put a little lanyard on here um, to make it a little easier. I took it off um, just for compatibility. Speaking of lanyard, Kevlar cordage, fantastic friction saw, but you can use it for many, many things from fishing to whatever. So uh, tying repairs, all sorts of stuff. So super awesome stuff. If you don't have that, you can use dental floss for a lot of the night stuff, but it's going to have a tinsel strength much, much greater than dental floss. So, um, NFC tag, uh, the little black disc. I had did a video on this and have done some posts on the website. So definitely check that out if you're interested. Many, many functions. I always have these with all my kits. So, razor blade um, can be hidden anywhere. Easy, cheap. You can toss it. Um, you can forget about it if you get caught in TSA, you can just scrap it, no worries. But um, generally have multiple razor blades. Uh, this is just one. Speaking of multiple razor blades, here's another. Uh, this is just another multi-use tool, a saw. It's got a little ruler um, and then a razor blade here. So just a great little multi-tool. Um, all right, Bogota's. Now, when we get into lock picking, um, the whole set here that I have is based off of the Sparrows uh, Chaos card. And actually, at, when, at first, I kind of thought this was gimmicky, to be completely honest. And this is not the type of kit that I would get. Um, 
But then when I used to, I just on a whim purchased it and was very happy actually with the quality of the tools um, and the selection of the tools. And so I'll get into some of the details on that without getting into a full on review of the card. The lock picks, however, that come with it, I feel are much better um, served using a Bogotas, which is what these are. Um, much better quality, better feel, faster picking. Obviously, this is a flat card, so you have to, you know, you do away with quality. Uh, so I get that. So I, I removed those lock picks and replaced with the kit a better set of picks. You'll note I have a spring and a, and a safety pin. This is fairly wide known. People have been doing this for a long time with Bogotas in particular. Uh, what I recommend is your the button of your fly is where to put this, not on your lapel or, you know, on your um, legs or, or, you know, hem or whatever. Put it in your, the button of your fly and it's a lot easier to do. And if anyone's patting you down, they might miss it and thinking that it's your zipper. Um, so, any rate, Bogota's awesome picks for the beginner. Definitely recommend them. The other picks is what I've done is put them back in the back of my phone here. So they're on the case. So I've got a small short pick, I've got a three hump pick, and then a tension wrench, all from the Chaos card. It sits in the back of your phone case. Super awesome when done like that. And then of course you always need your SD card uh, or SIM card remover um, to be able to get that card out so that if you need to trash your phone quickly, you can do that. So always carry this tool with you on your keychain and one on your phone. I always recommend that so you can ditch this phone as quick as possible. Okay, other tools. Another razor blade. This one is a ceramic blade, so a magnetometer is not going to go off with it. It can be in your shoe, it can be in any many, many locations in your hem. It's small enough. Um, generally, this is better for your shoe. This is better for other, like in the hem or in your um, waist or wherever. Um, but super nice little tiny razor blade. Um, if you've seen the movie Vigilante, uh, the protagonist um, hides this in, in her skin, actually. Um, and uh, pulls it out, which is kind of kind of a cool uh, tradecraft, I guess. Some very unique. I don't know if anyone else has done that. Put it in the comments below if you have. Um, so the rest of the tools... Again, this is a layering kit, so I want to be able to layer. This little pouch here is fantastic. You just put this in the button of your pants and then tuck the whole pouch into your zipper. And you've got yourself a deep carry um, tool kit that you have with you where you can carry a plethora of tools. This is one of the things I was most excited playing around with. I don't have a lot of experience with comb picks, um, but the four and the five are probably one of the more common ones. Um, so without having to buy an entire kit, uh, it was cheaper for me to buy the chaos card and get these. So I thought that was kind of cool. So I was able to kind of mess around with some opening some locks with the, uh, with comb pick. Um, not so excited about the auto rocker. I'm including in the kit. I often thought of maybe just leaving it back just cause I don't think it's very useful. Um, if anyone has any had luck with this, let me know. Um, cause I know it's hit and miss and works well on older cars but I just don't see a lot of older cars so um, again let me know if you have some success with that um, certainly having a wafer lock um, pick is, is handy I didn't really like the whole blade idea but I get it I, I get why they do that uh, but having the capability of a wafer lock I think is kind of cool so I have that of course uh, your shim and your mini knife, super awesome. Many, many purposes for that. And then lastly is the handcuff key. This is a half handcuff key, again, came from a card that's flat, so they had to do a half. Where this is awesome is it fits perfect inside the bracelet of a watch. So you can fit that right into your bracelet of your watch and no one would know the wiser. So you can have that handcuff key with you all the time. Now, when you have these handcuff keys, just having one isn't good enough. You have to have multiple. So um, certainly 
plastic handcuff keys that look that are circular. This one's half broken, unfortunately. Um, or I, I broke it so I could snap it on here. Although the reason why they're circular is so that if you had this in your pocket, it would blend in well with coins. Also, people have um, you know their spare button on their pants. So any you know if someone was patting you down, they would think that this might be just that spare button on your pants. So um, I've on many of my pants, I've sewn this next to that button, and then you can actually break this out and sew it into a cuff of your shirt, and I've done that as well. As you can see, there's little holes here, and that's for sewing that into your clothes. So you can break it out or keep it in the coin um, uh, um, camouflage or whatever. Again, lock picks are um, many different types of handcuff keys. One is not going to do, so I've got two of these guys. These are probably the best handcuff keys that you can find on the market. They are metal, but that's okay. Um, so basically, you uh, let's see if I can do this with the camera through the camera. But basically, you can unlock your um, the handcuffs with this. And what the, what's nice about this is it shatters. So if it does break, if this plastic breaks, if you if you're too rough with it, uh, you know adrenaline's going. You don't have your fine motor skills, um, and you you break this plastic key, it's going to stay in the keyway, whereas this is going to shatter, and so you'll be completely free for you to use another method to shim or a different key um, to try out. So two keys of these, one of the plastic, and then one small metal one in my watch. 